everyone and welcome back to another weekly weigh-in update. I am going to try and make this super quick today because I do have two weeks to cover and also I'm really hungry. I've not had my breakfast yet and I'm dying to get my breakfast because I've got a little treat in store for myself today. So thank you so much to everybody for all your lovely and kind messages last week about Simba. It was a pretty tough week this past week but I'm, I'll go into that later. Let's get an A. Actually, I've not got my thing. The week before, which was the week that I decided to go sin free, it was Ali's birthday week. So I decided because I was going to have an off plan date on Ali's birthday, I was going to go sin free for six days, which actually went really well for the first four days, right up until Ali's birthday. I was sin free for four days, I didn't really struggle with it. The only temptation I really had was on the Monday night, the day before Ali's birthday, when I got Mark and Ali some chips to have with their chicken and I was like, I really want some of the chips, but because I was sin free, I could have had them on plan, I could have measured out, I think it's 100 grams for so many sins, and I could have had them on plan, but because I was sin free, I was like, can't have them, I'll just have a salad or something, I can't even remember what I had to it, I think it was a salad. And then we had Ali's birthday, which was off plan. No guilt, no regrets about anything that I ate that day because I'd planned it, I knew it was going to be off plan. We maybe had a few more treats than I anticipated in the evening, but that's because we had to go to the restaurant at half past three. We could only get a book in at half past three, so it was really early for like dinner. And I usually don't eat after my dinner at night, but my dinner at night is usually sometime between six and seven o'clock. But because we'd had it so early, I didn't, I didn't really worry about having something to eat later on. It wasn't too late or anything like that. It was just some cheesy footballs and I tried some of Ali's Cheez-Its, his pizza Cheez-Its and yeah, yeah, I think that was it. I didn't even have a bit of birthday cake actually. I was more in a savoury mood. And then I was like right back on plan on Wednesday, trying to stay sin free, but the cheesy footballs were calling out my name and I did tuck into them. So I failed on the Wednesday, decided that I was going to stay sin free on the Thursday and the Friday. I hadn't planned to be originally sin free on the Friday, but because I'd had that little blip with the cheesy footballs on the Wednesday, I decided I'll stay sin free on the Friday. Thursday came and if you have been following my channel for the past couple of weeks, you'll know what happened. We discovered that our baby boy Simba had passed away and it was it was just completely heartbreaking. We were all devastated. Even Mark. Mark was, I was so thankful he was here because I could not have went away and got Simba and buried him and everything. But thankfully Mark was here. He went away and got um. It was Ali that actually found him because he'd went looking for him. Um, yeah, Mark went and got him and he buried him and he'd taken his collar off. Simba had a little a luminous yellow it's not a luminous, it was, um, what do you call it, fluorescent, so we could see him in the dark, because he was a dark grey cat, it was hard to see him when he was coming in at night, or if he was in the garden or anything, so I got him an luminous yellow, what do you call that, I forgot the name, you know what I mean right, so you can see them in the dark, um, and he'd, Mark had taken the collar off, and Mark was actually fine, and then he's like, I'm going to go and wash the collar and all that for you, for like a little memento for you to keep for him, and Mark completely broke down when he was washing the collar. So even Mark has been really upset by Simba's passing and everything. So the last thing on my mind on Thursday night was Slimming World. It was the last thing on my mind. I was more upset about what had happened. I was really upset that Ali had been the one that found him. And he was devastated. He was howling the house down. My neighbours could hear him like a couple of doors down. They were like, is Ali okay? Like he was... Honestly, if you don't know and you haven't been watching for the last year or so, we actually got the kittens. We got Simba and Nala, their brother and sister. We got them last year on the 9th of November for Ali's birthday. His birthday's the 10th. We picked him up the night before his birthday and Simba actually went missing on the 9th of November on the Monday, the day before Ali's birthday this year. We'd been quite worried and all that throughout the rest of the week until we found him, but we just kind of thought he disappeared and maybe went a bit too far. There's it's happened before. I've had cats that have done this before and they've turned up after a few days. It was very unlike Simba, but um, 
Yeah, anyway, oh, I'm straight on. I'm going on about my cat and this is a way an update. I'm just, it's just on my mind at the minute. Um, anyway, so on the Thursday night we decided let's cheer ourselves up a little bit because we felt so crap, absolutely crap and devastated and heartbroken. I was like, you know what we should do? Just put on a Christmas movie. Ali's like, mum, that's not the rules. We usually wait till the first Saturday after my birthday. I was like, we need it tonight. So we decided to watch Christmas with the Cranks and we ordered a takeaway. I had a burger and chips. If you've seen my meals of the week, you would have already seen what I ate. It was flipping delicious. I really enjoyed it and I do not regret it. I don't regret it. I literally couldn't care what the scale said the following day. I was just that far away to, from thinking about Slimming World at that point. I just wanted to feel a little bit better and I sought some comfort in food, which Slimming World is meant to change your habits and the way you think about food and everything, but really, at the end of the day, it doesn't really, when it really comes push, push to shove and you're feeling like absolute crap, well, for me anyway, I will still turn to food as a form of therapy. The good thing is that it was only that takeaway, it wasn't like complete binge eating or anything like that, which in the past it would have been. So I guess Summer World has curbed some of my bad habits. So like I said, that week started off really good, really strong. For four days I was sin free and then it kind of just went downhill from there. I usually step on the scales on a Friday, but if you saw my meals of the week part one, what actually happened was I had to get up and go to work that morning for just an hour for a quick thing that I had to do and instead of coming home and weighing myself on the scales like I'd intended to do, I went shopping for some retail therapy. Uh, so I completely forgot on Friday to weigh myself. I completely, genuinely completely forgot to weigh myself. I think I realised on about, oh god it was quite late on on Friday night and I thought I'm not weighing myself now because I've had loads to eat already. I usually weigh myself on a Friday morning. Ooh. I usually weigh myself on a Friday morning before I've even had my breakfast or anything. It's usually between eight and half past eight on a Friday morning. So what I decided to do, what I decided to do was just weigh myself on the Saturday morning. Obviously I got up on Saturday morning and completely forgot again. I had had my breakfast. I was actually eating my breakfast when I realised I forgot to weigh myself again. So I just thought, I'm going to step on the scales because if I keep going like this, I'm just going to keep forgetting. So I stepped on the scales once I'd had my breakfast and everything on the Saturday morning. And this is what the result was. So I didn't talk in that video because I wasn't feeling it, but that was a £2.3 gain. I just accepted it because I wasn't in the mood to argue with the scales this week, that week, last week. Oh my god, I'm getting confused with my weeks. I wasn't in the mood to argue with them. I just thought I'll take it. It wasn't accurate. It wasn't on the usual day that I weigh. It wasn't at the usual time that I weigh. And it was after I'd eaten, which I don't usually do. I usually always weigh before I've eaten. That's, that's always been the case with me since I started Summer World. I usually weigh first thing in the morning before I've even eaten. So I knew that result wasn't very accurate, but also I really didn't care. I really didn't give a crap what that result was because I was just feeling rubbish. I just, I was just feeling really sad and down and a bit depressed about Simba and everything and I was trying to get my head in the Slimming World game because I knew I couldn't come off plan because I'd undo all the hard work that I'd, I've done over the last few months since I got back on it after my granny passed away and I thought I can't go back to putting all that weight on again, I can't just go through it again. So I just tried to get my head in the game. I wasn't I wasn't there, I wasn't even 50% in the game, in the Summer World mode that I had been in the last few months, but I just tried. You can see me on my meals of the week or my what I ate in a week, you can see me just trying to be good and trying to stay on plan. My, maybe it wasn't great food optimising, I didn't have a lot of speed on there, I had a whole lot of carbs, especially the last weekend. I ate a lot of carbs last weekend. I think 
two meals in a row I had rice and chips involved in my meals. Yeah, but so I really wasn't bothered what the skills were saying. Like I was like, I expected again because I'd had quite a few treats at the end of the week. I just, I really, I genuinely wasn't bothered really what the skills were saying. I just thought I'd just try and keep it going for this week and try and get a maintain or something. So this week has been hard, like emotionally and everything like that. But I think I've done okay on Slimming World. I didn't go over my sins any day, which I am completely shocked about. I managed to stay 15 sins or less. It, I think the lowest I ever got this week was 11 and a half sins or something. My sins were quite high this week. Last weekend and even into the beginning of this week, I was still pretty high on the carbs. I was trying to be good with the carbs and everything because I do feel a lot better when I'm not eating all the carbs, like I feel physically better. It's just an emotional thing with the carbs as well. But I also lose better as well when I'm not eating the carbs. I have noticed that, like, I think I've said this before, but I could probably be keto and get great losses on that plan. I just know that keto is not a diet that I could sustain and Slimmer World is one that I could sustain and be on for the whole of my life, for the rest of my life. So. Yeah, this week was fine. Like, there's nothing exciting to write home about. I managed to stay on plan. I think for the last couple of days, I managed to get better with the food optimising. The better that I was feeling during the week, the better my food got, the food optimising and everything got. So I think that reflects on my, what I eat in a week as well. I still was quite high with the sins and that, but my only plan for this week, my only target for this week was to stay on plan and I managed that. I haven't managed to reach the last couple of targets that I set myself with the sin free for six days and to lose half a pound. I didn't manage those targets, but I managed to stay on plan this week and that was my only target. And actually in saying that, I'm never setting myself targets again. From now on, that is the only target I'm going to set myself, especially up until January anyway. In January I might set myself some targets or whatever, but at the minute it's really hard to stay focused and on plan with Slimmer World, not with just everything that's happened with Simba and everything, but it's at just that time of year. I really struggle at this time of year and I think a lot of people are feeling that. It's just coming up to Christmas and there's so many treats, so much good food and everything about. It's just constant temptation in your face and it is really hard to stay focused and stay on plan and not want to overindulge in all those treats and thankfully there is quite a few that you could have on plan like the gingerbread toffee popcorn oh my god oh my god if you've not tried the Mackey's gingerbread flavored to toffee popcorn you need to go and try it because it's flipping amazing if you like gingerbread you'll love it i really had to check myself and not have it every single day this week anyway this week's result on the scale was quite surprising actually i'll take you to that now Okay, so last time I stepped on the scales on Saturday morning, I was 10 stone 6.7. But remember, that was Saturday, so I don't know how accurate that reading was. Let's see what they're saying today. Oh! Yep, don't trust it. I don't trust these scales at the minute. Let's see what that's saying. 10 stone... 2.4 that said, let's see if I can get best to three. Oh, second time in a row. Oh my god, really? Yay! I didn't think that 6.7 was very accurate. I hadn't had that bad a week. Oh, come on. I've not lost two pounds in that space of time. <laughs> Don't start doing it to me now. That's 2.6. These bloody scales. I need to get a new pit set. Right, let's call it 2.6. 2.6. I still don't 100% trust my scales after the, you know, that faff that I had with them a couple of weeks ago. But 
2.6 was the highest that it went on the scales this, when I stepped on the scales this morning. So I'm accepting that result. I'm really happy with that actually. I really thought I was maybe, I didn't feel great. I felt really bloated. I felt really heavy and everything going into stepping on the scales this morning. So I was quite surprised that I'd had a loss. And in fact, the whole week, I just haven't felt great. It's, I think it's mostly because I've just not felt great emotionally in that anyway. Sorry, I keep touching my nose. I know we're not meant to do that, but I really have a really tickly nose at the minute. Excuse me. It's really tickly. Anyway, that result on the scales this morning, well, I put it was a 4.1 loss, but you know, that result on the scale last week wasn't very accurate. So we'll just ignore what I actually lost this week. But it brings my total loss to four stone, 1.4 pounds. I reached my four stone milestone. I'm flipping ecstatic about that. And it also means I've only got 2.6 pounds to go to Target. I mean, I can't grumble. Sorry, I'm just going to hang this here because I'll lose it if I don't. I'm really happy with the loss that I had this week. I'm really flipping surprised with the loss that I had this week. I would have been happy with a maintain, to be honest with you, just because my brain's just not really in it at the minute. I still don't feel very on board with Slimmer World. Like, and I don't mean anything against Slimmer World with that. I just mean my brain, I'm just not in it at the minute. Maybe... I'm maybe a lot better than I was feeling last week when I started the week after my, after um, Simba passed away and everything. I'm maybe more about 75% this week and £2.6 to go to Target, like that's so frighteningly close, like I don't know what I'm going to do when I get to Target. What do you do when you get to Target? Anyway guys, I'm going to love yous and leave yous there because I'm trying to make this a really quick way in, way in update this week. Please let me know how you guys are all doing on your journeys in the comments down below. And I hope you guys that are in lockdown at the minute are really doing well. I hope you're not struggling too much. I know, I know it's just hard times we're living in for some of us. Up in Scotland, some places are going into lockdown or have went into lockdown, but some places aren't. My, my area that I live in is actually on a lower tier now, which means we have we're looking less likely to go into lockdown which I'm pleased about but my heart really does go out to everybody else that is in lockdown because I know even taking out the slimmer world element it's just hard for some people especially at this time of year like we need to do our Christmas shopping and we need to stay in touch with our family and friends and for you guys that are in lockdown my heart's just going out to you so please take care of yourselves please stay safe and stay strong anyway please like this video if you enjoyed it subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you next time